Retired Major Keith Inches believes war memorabilia and the stories behind it can inspire future generations. That's why he wants the Victoria Cross Medal of Major David Curry from Moose Jaw to be on public display in Saskatchewan. Back from the battlefront, Major Curry, still wearing his overalls, arrived at Buckingham Palace to receive his award for courage and devotion to duty. Against incredible odds, Curry and a small force of tanks and infantry held off a huge German army. He was the only Canadian soldier to receive the Victoria Cross in the Normandy campaign. Curry's widow, now 105, sold the medal to a private collector in 1989. Her grandson told an Ottawa newspaper that the money is still funding her care in a nursing home. But now the private collector is putting it up for auction and it's expected to get half a million dollars. Curry made at one point, he made the comment that the medal wasn't for him, it was for the men that he led, okay? And that's true. Uh, he didn't get killed. And a collector is going to make a half a million? That seems to me unconscionable. The private collector is represented by a broker. While it's easy to feel emotional about the sale of military medals, the reality is we live in an economic world. It was the right of Isabel Curry, the widow, to sell those medals at the time that she chose to, and so too is it my client's right today. The Canadian War Museum in Ottawa has bought Victoria Cross medals in the past, but won't say whether it will make a bid this time. A foreign buyer would need a permit from the government to take the medal outside of Canada. It's part of our heritage. We should be showing that to our young people as an inspiration. I don't think anybody in Europe is going to be inspired the same way. There's lots of uh, medals for heroism in Europe. They don't need another one from us. The auction takes place at the end of September. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Regina.